All right, this is going to be a really quick walkthrough of how to get the hex time. All right, so first I created a text document. It doesn't really matter what it is. Just make sure that it's saved on my C drive. Then I'm going to open up WinHex that I've already installed. Oh, I do want to run this as administrator. So let me go back and do this again. WinHex. Right, and so I want to run as administrator. UAC asked me if I want to give it permission. Yes. I'll say uh, take a new one. So it's taking a snapshot of my C drive. Uh, depending on the size of your drive, it'll take uh, maybe two minutes, maybe a little bit less. Uh, so mine looks like it's taking less than a minute. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse to where I have that file saved. So for me, I've saved mine into my desktop. All right now I just want to highlight the file, go to the beginning of the file. So you can see that I've already actually done this. Over in the bottom right corner, we can see what I have highlighted. So we'll start at the beginning. And as I drag my cursor, you can see this highlight and I need to view the data interpreter. All right, so here's my data interpreter. So for my first create time, I drag highlight the 50 and then use my arrow key, go to the next. And then I get a file time of 10 to 2000. 23, 18.03. Uh, we can kind of verify that, that when hex is already found, uh, that same information up here. Then I can go to 0.58. Uh, should be right there. And then move my cursor. And then I can see the last modified time. You'll see it's slightly different, right? It's because I modified it maybe uh, 0.28 seconds later. So that's it. That's how you get through using WinHex to uh, verify or find the modified access create times in the hex code. All right, thanks.